Welcome or welcome back, beautiful souls, to the channel. I'm Sheik, your conscious mentor, and today I will be going over the full moon in Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio. Any Scorpio down below, let me know. It's going to be a powerful one. Um, May 16th, 2022, and what you need to know. This is going to be so powerful. Before I even get started, really think about who do you want to be in six months? How do you want to feel in six months as you listen to the trance? missions that i'm going to be sharing with you and as i said that the sun came out so just get prepared expansion sun letting your light shine through this big big rebirth so before we get into the video make sure you give this video a thumbs up like subscribe put notification bells i do these videos every single month for you beautiful souls if you're new here and if you watch these videos all the time subscribe put notifications and i will also be posting a guided meditation energy healing for you lovely souls so i'll have that for you to really help you with your ritual um, and help you with really maximizing with the scorpio full moon and all the moons in the future together I will also share that my mentoring program is still open. There's a few spots left for applications at the end of May. The applications end the end of May. I think it's May 31st. So um, if you feel called to work with me, I still have my spots for the rebirth and I also still have spots for the um, Patch and Mama as well. All the programs I have spots with will be down below. Um, and I'm really excited, especially the Patch and Mama. This is gonna be a program to teach you over a year how to be a healer and space holder. We're gonna be having a retreat together. You're gonna be working with me one-on-one. -on -one. These are the people I'm gonna be working with the most. And these are people who are ready to change the world. We're ready to step into that power, step into that deep, you know, goddess energy, but also masculine energy of putting it forward and taking into the space of what did my soul come here to do and how can I really fully step into it? So if you are ready, link is down below, apply Pachamama, I'm calling you in. You're gonna transform your life a lot. So with that said, let's get into the video. So the full moon in Scorpio is interesting. It's funny because I'm actually recording this, you know, these videos and the next few videos ahead of time for you lovely souls because I'm going through a deep initiation for a deep medicine that I've been working with for a while. And um, I will tell you this, the day that I sat with this medicine, it said, welcome home. This is the medicine that you are here to carry. So um, I'm really excited. I might even share with you guys when I get back from initiation and I'm even thinking of doing a vlog to share with you guys. But anyways, all this to say is it's going to be a very powerful, powerful full moon on the May 16th. So the first thing you need to know about this Scorpio full moon on May 16th is that rebirth that is coming for you in six months. Deep shedding is about to happen and things have been resisting is about to come up. So I want to go a little bit deeper with this. Like I mentioned at the beginning when I opened this video, how do you want to see yourself in six months? You know, the words that's been coming up a lot for a lot of souls, including my clients, but you guys, as I look at the videos as well, and just, you know, at the bottom of the comment section is surrender and trust. And what does surrender and trust mean? Everyone's saying that, but what does that mean? And I want to go a little bit deeper with that when we look at rebirth and shedding. So when we go through surrender and trust, surrender is allowing ourselves to fully, you know, let go. You know, these are the things that we say that I'm just going to wait for my guides, my spirit, you know, to give me the message, to give me the angel number, to give me the omen animal that I need to to, to, to see, to know that for this Scorpio full moon, this is the message I need and this is the area of my life that is rebirthing. But then there's also the trust. And I wanna share this, surrender equals trust, okay? Trusting is taking the action we need to do in this present moment for us to rebirth, for us to shed, right? If we wanna receive something, if we wanna transform in six months, but we're not allowing ourselves to take the action and we're saying, oh, I'm just gonna wait for spirit to give me the sign, to be a healer. I'm just gonna wait for spirit to give me the sign to, you know, change my job. I'm just gonna wait for spirit to give me the sign to, you know, make this relationship more committed or to start going and dating again because I wanna find my soulmate. That is not trusting and surrendering because when we surrender again, you need to take the action. You know, you need to allow yourself to connect with people intuitively using your intentions to go out there and connect. You need to start thinking about what would that feel like leaving your job, 
You know, what are you going to do? What are the commitments that you're going to do in your habits to shift it so you can be connected to your higher self more, right? We're not talking about bypassing here, right? We're not bypassing our own surrendering. We're not bypassing our manifestations. We're coming home to ourselves. So the Scorpio full moon on May 16th, 2022 is all about how are you coming home to yourself? And I know a lot of you, this is going to resonate for those who've been in the dark night of the soul. The light is here for you. So we're, we're having a duality. Scorpio is all duality. So there's going to be a half of you that it means, come on, buckle up. You're about to rebirth in six months. And there's going to be the other half of you that it's going to be all about. We just are crawling out of that dark hole, that dark night of the soul. And now it's like, why did you have to go into that dark night of the soul for you to rebirth into the person you're being in the next six months? So really thinking about that as well. And um, there was another message that came through about souls and resisting but it will come back i'm sure it will if it's meant to be shared it will let's pull out a card for rebirth because i feel like there's a card that is here for us of what we need to hear so there's two cards that came out and we got gl all that glitter and fork in the road so i'm gonna start with fork in the road because it's calling me first it's been a while since i pulled this card fork in the road so this card is really saying that we are getting to a point where we have a choice. You know, everything is choice at the end of the day. We can choose to take one step or another. Now, keep in mind, we just had, we're starting eclipse season. We just had the Taurus solar eclipse. And I did a video on that. If you want to go check that out, it'd be really helpful for you guys. If this is resonating with you to go check it out and let me know what resonates there in the comments. But the fork in the road is meaning that you just got some news on the 30th or you know a week before this two weeks before and now it's like what are you going to do with this news so now we're in the clear to really think about how can i plan the decisions i'm going to make not make the decisions but during this rebirth what ways am i going to take an action after this full moon in scorpio so you have a choice to go back where you were or to go forward to where you can be so where are you going to take it? You're going to take it back where you were and stick to those habits, or are you going to allow yourself to go just a little bit deeper into your soul? And the word that's coming up for me is coming back home. If your soul were to meet each other to come back home, a part of your soul, it's like a soul retrieval that's happening during this, um, this full moon in Scorpio. There's a part of you that you're, re you're retaining back whether you're crawling from the dark night of the soul or you're starting this change and you're going into initiation the next six months. But there's a part of you that's coming back and it's it's here and you have a choice. Do you want to take that or do you want to leave it? That's your decision. All glitters and glam. So this is kind of what happens after. You know, I love this card. It's our royalty codes. So the beautiful thing about ancestors, and I talk about this quite a lot. I even talk about that when I go into ceremony, if you've had ceremony with me. And the reason why is because our ancestors give us gifts. There's a lot of gifts that you have intuitively through your intu intuition that your ancestors gave you. And my question is for you, as you do this deep shedding, call on them to help and support you through this. Because when you do make that decision, there are going to be some gems that are going to be given to you. So through the dirt, there are diamonds and you are that diamond. So it's understanding that all that glitter, all that glam is coming to you and you know, the ones in the dark night of the soul, it's about to be a very abundant time for you, like super abundant. And it's like you've been you've been in the standby for a while. And now they just called your number to come to the front desk to pick up your package. That's the feeling you're getting with the Scorpio full moon that's going to happen even further in. So a need to see beyond superficial. And that's going to go with the other side as well to desire and not to see what is behind the mask trying to be something that you're not and chasing after the sparkly things. So keeping in mind, even though you're receiving this for those in the dark night of the soul, those coming from that dark space, you've gone through the initiation that you've detached so much from so many parts of you, the old friendships, the old relationships, the old identity, that now it's like you have a different perspective of what that looks like for you now. The other part that's going through initiation, you're going to be stripped away from a lot of things that you're attached to because you need to understand that that doesn't make who you are. And it's interesting, I, I came across Jay Shetty. I don't know if any of you listen to his podcast. Um, if you do, put a little pink heart emoji down below. He has this episode with Lily Singh, which is her new book. 
and it's 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 interesting i listened to it at the gym today and one thing that came up that i want to share with this that's coming into the future and you're starting to see this a lot with celebrities or people in the light or the people in this in the hollywood world is more truth coming out and more realization and one thing that i can attest for all of us is that she understood that we started to you know you become so vain when we have too much superficial and my maestro always says that we, the, the human experience is about balancing the superficial and also the spiritual world right we can't be all spiritual you can't all be spiritual be so disconnected to the world and you can't be all about money and all about manifestation and all of that and be so disconnected to the essence of of what life is in joy right so here it's understanding, it's stripping you away. If that means that you're being let go of your job, well, or you, like I know I, some of you said that during the Taurus, you know, solar eclipse, maybe you got let go of your job, maybe a relationship change or you broke up or something big that you have been using on a pedestal is now being shifted. You're going through a deep shedding and rebirth and you're finding yourself home again. You're finding your soul home again beyond the superficial things. So when the manifestation comes, you're already so happy that there's no attachment to it. So Scorpio is all about the energy of initiation and understanding how are we balancing the superficial world as we start to open up and we start to, you know, after two years and some of being basically going inwards, being forced to take a slowdown no matter where our situation is and what we've gone through we all had to be forced to, to check in and to really look at what's in the mirror and in doing that we also realize how attached we are to relationships and superficial things then now they don't matter the second thing that's coming up for the scorpio full moon on may 16 2022 is this is a great time for to do full moon ceremonies with others so you know really mirroring and understanding that this is a great time to do like a moon circle. I don't know if you have any girlfriends or beings of beautiful souls or just souls that can come together and do a fire ceremony together, you know, shedding light into how are you being rebirthed? What are you calling in in the six months? Um, you know, creating a song, creating medicine songs together and singing, um, whether that is doing a ceremony of some sorts come and bring community because this is going to really help you receive the rebirth that is here for you the rebirth that started basically april 30th and will continue in the scorpio season which is a really interesting season to be in um and also knowing that these people that we are connecting with even though their stories are different they are mirroring a part of us that lives within us and one thing that really sticks with me is no matter who and what our situation is we are both the same we are both there's something in me that represents something in you and there's something in each other that is really shining light to one another so when we look at the scorpio full moon we remember that we separate from that superficial world we understand that we can enjoy it but we don't need to attach ourselves and in doing that we're having more deeper connections relationships and we're even finding people that we're ready to take and embark those six months with you know we're starting to to see that there are going to be some earth angels that are going to come to you around this time that are meant to help you through this moment it might be healers it might be a friend it might be a new friendship it might be a relationship that is just meant to open your heart it doesn't mean that you're meant to that person is your soulmate forever but maybe they're meant to rebirth a part of you to trust yourself more to commit in a relationship so that came in whoop, really deep and um you know dealing with understanding to expand so how do i want to expand with those people i'm doing ceremony with you know you don't want to bring a person who's not going to really understand you this work that we do not everyone understands it and that's okay you know not everyone chose the life to be in the spiritual world but we can respect that and understand that what are the people i want to have ceremony with who are the people who are going to celebrate me in my rebirth who are the people who are going to support me and create a ceremony with them and allow to have a circle with that, which would be amazing and very powerful for people to do. So we're understanding that human connection over the past two and of some years is so important. And I'm even seeing it in the community. I'm even seeing it myself. I wanna do more space holding for retreats for you guys to get to meet you, <laughs> to connect with you and to hold space for you to feel safe in yourself in this rebirth. And, um, you know, really, getting yourself out of isolation. Some of you are isolating a little too much. And even those who came out of the dark night of the soul, you're finding it really hard to socialize again. Be gentle with yourself, but also put in that masculine energy to push yourself out of your comfort zone. 
And for those of you who are going into that cave, you know, we're exchanging out those are going into that cave to go deeper and to shed, to remember that the people that you're creating the ceremony with, you can be vulnerable with them and they will hold space with you. It is okay to share your emotions. You are safe. I know Scorpio, mm, I'm going to speak as a Scorpio. Let me know if this, this definitely resonates. We don't like to share our emotions. We don't like to be vulnerable, but we are so emotional. And it's like, how have we been taught that in the rebirth, even in our worst, we have to hide ourselves. What if we were to have relationships that we can have that are so supportive that we don't have to hide ourselves anymore, that we can allow people to see us and see that as strength? Because that's really what comes into is it's for us to be in that truth and see ourselves in all parts, allow our partnerships to see us in the best and the worst, to see us in our rituals and not feel shame over it. You know, we're releasing that out so again, really great time to create community and find a community that you can really connect with. Again, I have the Quartz Vortex, which is a great community to hold space for people to connect. If you're interested in being part of that program, it's down below. The third thing you need to know about this full moon in Scorpio on May 16th, 2022, is that there's no need to say the, hey, how are you relationships? We are done with that. Okay, when we're going through so much rebirth, we start to notice that there are certain relationships that irritate us. And I'm gonna pull out a card because I haven't pulled one out. I've been on such a channel mode for you guys. But there are certain relationships that aren't for us. You know, I, who here has also resonated with maybe a friend or someone that you used to jive with? You know, we used to hang out all the time and then I went through this rebirth and I feel like I don't even know you and I don't feel connected with you. And even though the relationship didn't go badly, it's just like we have fell out of that relationship and that's okay. Maybe that person was just meant to be up to that point. You know, detached from the time that we need to have friendships and relationships that last lifetimes not all of them are meant lifetimes for this life some are not and we need to accept that so how can we cut out the hey how are you relationships the shallowness that's preventing you from being in your truth and being seen in this rebirth you know we're not here to repeat the same version of ourselves that we were hiding behind you know, we're not here to be fake. We're not here to fake something. What part of your life right now is faking because it's about to tumble? We're having a tower moment. And we're really realizing, wow, okay, I think that this is not this is not the relationship that I'm feeling called to. I feel like this was the only card that Spirit had to share because we're talking about relationships, we're talking about soulmates. So I'm gonna give two messages here. We're gonna be talking about um, partnerships, but we're also gonna talk about platonic relationships as well. Cute little penguins. So you know, penguins are such a beautiful spirit. They they choose a soulmate and they know right away. And that's the soulmate they stick with. And it's like a soul experience from not a human, a soul experience. We have many, many soulmates, but we can choose which one, right? And during this rebirth, we're noticing the person we're with, is that the person we were meant to be with? And the person we're with, the other half are realizing are they, then, are they meant to be with us? And if they are, why are you scary, afraid or scared of committing, right? So some of you are gonna be called in your relationship to take that commitment. And like I mentioned with the Taurus solar eclipse, I talked about news. So, you know, whether it's you or someone else getting proposed or having a baby or something like that, or a big life change or buying a house, and that ignites in your relationship, wait a minute, without the jealousy, without the envy. Wow, I didn't notice that I actually wanted to get married. Wow, I didn't notice I wanted kids. Maybe that's something new to me. So we're finding more depth in our relationship and more commitment because of after all that rebirth, now we're not scared of it anymore and we're therefore not scared of committing to ourselves and trusting ourselves in this relationship. So the soulmates is all about how can I really sit down with myself and look at those relationships, whether it's twin flame soulmates, and say like, what are they offering to me in this space of my rebirth? What are the lessons that are here? Whether I have will continue with them or whether I break up with them and I part ways. And as soon as I said that, I saw a crow, part ways. So really thinking about that, being truthful in those energies and also being not afraid to say, this is what I want and this is where I wanna be and this is where I stand. Call in the feminine to be in that 
that stance and be like, this is how I'm feeling. This is where I am. Because again, emotions and vulnerability is power in ourselves. And we have to remember that no more faking relationships and knowing that some of those people are meant to be in our journeys. And when we look at platonic relationships, what the Scorpio, you know, full moon on May 16th, 2022 is really bringing for us is like, you know, what friendships do we really connect with and which ones do we just need to let go and get closure? And I'm going to talk a little bit about closure. So closure is interesting. And I talked about this with a client and I talked about this with another friend as well. For the Scorpio full moon on May 16th, 2022, we're learning that closure doesn't mean that we need to seek something that isn't there for us to seek. And what I mean by that is that when we break up from a relationship, platonic or intimate, what is the emotion you feel? What is the emotion you're currently feeling, right? And we've all, every single one of us on here has lost a friendship or something or have been distanced with someone over the past few couple years. Yeah, I, I totally know that for a fact. It's, it's because we've all gone through our own things. You and you are me, I am you. Like we've gone through the own things. But through those friendships and those relationships, the closure we needed, it was just understanding the lesson and the memory that was there and what this soul brought to us and what we brought to them. And maybe that is to break a heart, to open it more and realize how I need to honor my heart here and honor maybe my inner child or the way that I felt closed off of love. Maybe it's understanding that the closure is the, you know, the, the need of closure is the anxiety of feeling abandoned and that I need to go back to this relationship when realistically, maybe I don't. Maybe closure is recognizing that I am getting triggered with abandonment and that I'm also being triggered with, you know, feeling the sense of not being loved. And that's what I need to focus on. So really focusing on in your relationship with closure, if there's relationships coming to an end during the Scorpio full moon or around this time, that you thank them. You thank them honestly and you say thank you for all of it. The pain, the, the happiness, the love, the all of all that you've given me and I appreciate it. And then we visit that part of ourselves that is coming up. And remember behind pain is this unconditional love that is peaking and wanting to come out, that light that wants to come out. And for some of you, you're realizing and meeting that light. And for others, you're meeting that darkness. That's why I said the duality to open you up. As soon as I said that the sun came out and it's really dark clouds. So it's such, such a beautiful moment of like this darkness and light that's here, even channeling this. So the last thing you need to know about this Scorpio full moon in on May 16th, 2022, I'm just getting messages. So I'm like trying to translate it for you guys. Physical trauma will come up, especially with the sacral and listening to the needs of feeling safe. So with a rebirth, you know, one of the, I, I do feel like Scorpio because the energy is all about, you know, igniting what we're holding on to. A lot of us maybe aren't aware that there's certain patterns or experiences in our life that are still needed to be mended and healed. So this deep shedding is understanding what part of the story can I heal a little bit deeper that can actually be a gift to me. I can say confidently now, but I couldn't have said it before when I was in my wounded, that I am actually so grateful for the pain that I've gone through. Because if I didn't go through the pains I've done, I wouldn't understand that that was actually the deepest medicine I needed to reclaim myself and come back home to my soul. And maybe right now hearing those words isn't something that you're in the space to receive just yet. And that's okay. That's okay. Like I'm not here to tell you to do that. But what I am here is to recognize where you're at with the journey. And again, the Scorpio is all about understanding that trauma is a pain in the motion, in the body that has not been ignited. And the messages I got are just kind of like messages of what's behind the trauma for you guys. So when we have the four, seven, go the distance. Okay. And we have this cat energy, which is all about cat jaguars, you know, any, you know, that primal energy, primal instinct, allow yourself to connect with the wild feminine energy to ignite the permission for you to feel what you need to feel and allow yourself to drop deeper into the earth's core to go the distance into your shadow through the Scorpio full moon. And when we can do that, we can then reclaim ourselves, a part of ourselves that we felt we did not have 
and receive it. And we're talking, when we talk about trauma, it's trauma is defined as a part of our body where our body, our soul left the body, came back and didn't process it, right? So ask yourself, what is coming up during the Scorpio full moon that you haven't processed emotionally, physically, or mentally? And your soul is calling you to visit it a little bit deeper to start this big initiation for the six months. Loyal heart. So knowing that our heart is always here beating between our chest and it's here lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. We have the three, five change and angels. So knowing that there is so much love that is around us, even in those very tender spaces and the way out is through. So remembering to come back to your heart because even though we are in so much pain and we look at those times and we think, how can I ever love again? How can I ever have trust in myself again? How can I trust others in relationships? How can I find the light into this whole situation? I'm here to share with you that there is possibility for that. And even now sitting here with some of the things I've healed, I've noticed that there was some light in that situation, even in the worst time I was in. But I need to come back to my heart and understand also the relationships around me that are helping me open my heart. This is all about loyalty and devo devotion. How are you gonna devote to your rebirth the next six months? I want you to write down as a shadow work prompt activity, what are the commitments that you're gonna make to yourself throughout this rebirth with all the messages you're getting in this full moon in Scorpio, okay? And really being loyal to your spirit, always being loyal to your spirit, even in times where you look at your younger self and you say, I'm not that person anymore. How in the world can I heal if I'm a completely different person and I don't resonate with the pain of them? Well, I have something to tell you. You are part of that person. But the difference is, is now that person that you said that you couldn't resonate with, they didn't know how to be safe. They were so out of their body. They couldn't, they couldn't even fathom what safety felt like. They didn't even know where to find safety in themselves. And this Scorpio full moon is like finding that. How can I find safety in my pain? How can I praise that pain a little bit deeper to really accept and say, this is my medicine. This is here for me to release so I can stop being a wounded inner child. My client the other day said a beautiful thing and I'm so grateful for them. And I just worked with them for quite a while and we've come to the end of our journey together. And I said, you know what they said? They said, I came in here as a child, but I left here as an adult. And for me, that meant both things. That meant they came in here as a wounded child and I saw it, a crying child in the corner, feeling like they couldn't release and they left here as this beautiful higher self. And they're ready. They're ready for the changes. They're ready to move. They're ready to do all the things that they want in their life. And now nothing can stop them because they went through that initiation. They went through the pain. They went through the abandonment wounds and all the other things that we all go through in different ways. So how can you be loyal to your heart? And in doing that, we get honey and milk, which is the rainbow. Rainbow gives us hope. So where we can we hold on to hope a little bit more? And I know a lot of us feel like we, we haven't been able to come back to hope because we've been burnt so much, but come back to hope. It's gonna really help us. And honey and the elephant is all about abundance and luck, calling in that milk and honey into our life. What are the pleasures? What are the ability for us to tap into that feminine, you know, essence of pleasure and, and, and acceptance and joy? Calling in the hummingbird if you feel a hard time for you to receive pleasure during this full moon in Scorpio. They will teach you that there is nectar and the sweet nectar that they give to the world is something that you have within yourself. So that was a very in-depth Scorpio full moon. I was not expecting to channel so much. I'm gonna finish with an affirmation video uh, card like I usually do. But let me know down below what is resonating for you, what came through for you. Like I mentioned, I will post um, a meditation distance energy healing for you lovely souls. So make sure you subscribe to the video so you have that. So let's finish with this. <sighs> what did we talk about at the beginning? It's here, trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Put that down below, affirm it, it is so. 
you have gone through the rebirth you have crawled out of the cave you have entered the cave into rebirth and initiation wherever you are in this journey and you can only do is trust but with that trust you equal surrender remember you're not fully trusting if you are analyzing and hear the monkey mind and if you're not allowing yourself to be in this body and not and you're escaping away from what is here we've received so many messages with this taurus solar eclipse up to this point of the full moon in scorpio what are you going to do with that information how are you going to shift it how are you going to trust how are you going to surrender how are you going to rebirth in the six months who do you want to become so i hope you enjoyed this video it was so nice hanging out with you guys i love doing these videos make sure you give this video a thumbs up like subscribe put a notification bell so you don't miss a video and if you feel called and you feel connected to my healing and my energy feel free to apply for the june enrollment for my one-on-ones it's down below for you lovely beautiful 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 souls I love you so, so much, and I'll see you in the next video.